about pets. We're all about fun. We have the nicest people. Our deals are number one. You love Dave's. They <laughs> soda and Red City. We make shopping for your pet. Fun, 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 fun. We're filming. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Dave's Wintertime Pet Show. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we actually uh, were off for a couple weeks. We got snowed out a couple times, and then uh, I was traveling, and John, John's camera broke, and the station wouldn't, wouldn't buy him a new camera. Except they so, re-blessed him with a really yeah, bright re light. Yeah, yeah, they gave him a big light It's instead. like I'm going towards the light. <laughs> so anyway, we are back, and we, and we actually picked a really good day to come back because mm -hmm. Matt just got in some fish that you're really excited about. Yes, 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 Why yes. Why don't you tell us about said fish? Let's start. Well, what I do, before, we'll jump into that. Yeah. I dare you. I dare you. Okay. Um, we do, one of the things I do is I've always asked kids or people to, just to keep interest in the hobby. If they can breed a really nice selection of fish at home, get a nice big spawning, we'll, we'll, we'll buy we'll them buy from them. them. We'll buy them from them. And quite a few people have actually taken us up on the offer this is one of the best ones we've had in a while. We have a local like, local person right here in Springfield, Massachusetts, has raised us half moon orchid bettas. And we have got like oh, 30 of them. So and these cool. are all homebred, homebred, locally bred how, bettas. Matt, how come the tails are, are so? It's just genetics, just cross, through crossbreeding, careful breeding. Um, just like any, like dogs, you have, you go from the wolf all the way up to the most fancy breed, yep. just through genetics and crossbreeding. And these are beautiful. These are the males. And as you can see, they have absolutely fantastic fins. I think fins. your fingers are yep, in the way. my fingers in the way. As they, once, any time a, bet, a betta will threaten, if it sees its reflection or if it sees another, another fish, another, another betta fish, they'll actually spread their fins. And they call these half moons because when they're all spread, it looks, looks like, like a half, half moon, moon crescent. It's so, and it's so brightly colored. These are fabulous. These are some of the <coughs> nicest ones we've had because he gave us both males and females. Now, care for these, it's just like any <coughs> excuse me. Any common betta. Uh, they can live in a small environment as long as you water it. Which way do clean. they do better? Which way they do better? Well, the better betta yeah. will do happy, will do best. Do happy. Be happy, do After happy. After the show, we're going we're gonna to have grammar lessons. Grammar lessons. Okay, this is the ideal tank that I think would work great. They don't need a huge amount of space. A lot of mistake people make is people put a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. I've got a freaking Folks, cavity out there. We're going to. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. A lot of mistakes people make. He washed make. his tongue last night and I he did. can't do a thing with it, was it the, this morning. Yeah, I did laundry and ate a yeah. Tide Pod. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Now, um, a big mistake people make is they put these guys into huge aquariums. They will actually, they're not happy in deep water because they think they're vulnerable to other fish getting them from yep. below. And they also breathe air from the surface. They're a labyrinth fish, meaning they actually have a form of a lung that conjun it's conjunctive with their gills. As they breathe air, they gulp air from the surface and it's pushed through that labyrinth and then through their gills. That actually enables them to live in still water. So they, this right here is a nice small tank. Yep. Um, it does have a nice slow circulation to keep the water filtered for ease of maintenance. Yep. Uh, it also has some nice LED lighting in there. So it's a nice spacious tank and easy to maintain. It's displays plastic. And it's plastic, but yep. it does have a lifetime guarantee on the filter part. Yep. So if it ever breaks, you get a new one. Great little setup. You also, but you can actually, as long as you keep the water clean and give them weekly water changes, you can keep them in small in small well, cubes. people keep them in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, people do keep them in. Right. Yeah, they will survive just fine. Uh, this is an interesting little display kit right here because it's a little puzzle piece. So if you want to have a group of them, a lot of people collect these. They actually can puzzle them together, put different designs so they have a whole different, one, you're doing a little artwork with your tanks. Yep. And two, you, you're displaying a whole bunch of them together. Oh, you just add new ones. Right, just yeah, slide yeah. them right in there. Yeah. Great, great, great little little tank. These actually come with everything. You get a your filter? gravel. Doesn't come with a filter, no, you but don't you need a filter. Don't need a filter with these, but you do get gravel, you do get a little plant, you get yep. water conditioner and a little bit of food. Yep. This next. is another. Next, this is another, where's the top? There we go. Thing. This is a little medieval castle. So this is fun for the kids if you have a playroom or a daycare center. 
Um, something that's just a little more whimsical, a little more entertaining. It's a full-sized little betta tank. Again, it comes with your food, your water conditioner, your gravel. Um, but also comes with a little decorative top. It looks like a little castle. So yep. it's fun. Fun little tank. Now. Yes. Fun thing. A lot of people do not think that these guys can go with any other fish. These are the females oh, how right wrong here. They how are. wrong they are. You can keep a male betta in with other fish as long as they're peaceful, as long as you don't have anything that's going to nip and tear at their fins. So uh, what small, kind of fish Small would that guppies, be? guppies, neon tetras, Corydoras catfish. Not swordfish and stuff, though. Um, right, some angelfish, bigger yep. stuff like that will actually peck at their long fins, yeah, yeah. and that will, that will damage them. Yep. Of course, you don't want to put two together in a tank. They'll fight each other. You can put males and females in, obviously. Just males and females in a harem, because if you keep yep. a male, here's a mistake people make, though. They put one male and one female in a bowl together. The male is going to constantly try and harass yep. her. So if you keep them in a small, like in a two or three gallon tank, yep. just like that, keep three to four females to one male, just like the mollies. Keep them in a harem, yep. they'll be a lot happier. These are the females. They don't quite has, have as long, long a fin yep. as the male, but they are pretty. And as you can see, they do fine together. They don't fight. So what, what's really cool about these folks is usually the fins are very, um, they're, they're very fine and they're, and they're uh, you know, they're not like, having a bad hair day. Not, right. These right. guys already look like they're shredded. They're they look, already, they, they look, look like they're, they've been through. They've been through. They're ragged and rough looking. They look like they've been living in a tank of uh, Jack Dempsey's Right, or right, right. But that's how they look. Even the females, you can see how she's spreading her face. Yeah. Looks like a mini half moon as yeah. well, too. So even the females do have color they, through crossbreeding. How, how long do these guys live? Absolute maximum lifespan under good care is three years that yep. I've seen. Average yep. is about a year to a year and a half, but a yep. lot of people come in They've kept them in nice, cared for, well-maintained, yep. nice water. They do great. Um, I had a can, can of fish food that you're holding. I'm holding it. You are holding it. Feeding these guys. These fish have a very, very, very small stomach, so it does not take a lot to feed them. This, these are blood worms. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's we're moving right along. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. This is, these are blood worms. These are blood worms, and you only need two or three pieces of food every day for them. If you go away on the weekend, if it's in, in your classroom, they'll do just fine without food. They don't need a lot of food. Biggest mistake people make in these little bowls is they put a pinch in like it would be a fish tank, right. and that just fouls the look water. At, look quickly. at how these guys are yeah. uh, trained. These are trained right here. Wow. We'll just move right along, segue right into these. This is another locally bred fish again. Uh, this is a, a local breeder who wanted to have fun, and this time he, he went fun with some angelfish. And the big difference why local breeding is so nice is, one, there's not far to transport. Yep. Two, the people that are raising these fish are concentrating only on one tank, so they've yep. really spent the time raising them up and really taking good care of them. As you can see, these are pets right here. These are absolute beautiful little pets. These are actually called koi angels because they have all, like a koi fish, they have all different unique color patterns on them rather than just stripes. So they have like is there something to do with, because they were raised locally, the water conditions are, are right. the same as, right. as right. ours as well? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Some wild caught fish are, are yeah, yeah. used to living just in that part of the river. These have been raised in city water, so they're very hardy. Plus, they're not enduring a long transport right. or shipping going from one pond to another. Right. They're going from one to one, from yep. right here. And like I said, they've... So but people, how old do you think these guys are? These guys are three months old. These really? Are three months old. Yep. All wow. Already. That's why it's the difference. Wow. People have just been feeding them, water changing them every day, yeah. only working on two, one yeah. or two tanks. So they did a beautiful job so on this So if you think section. about this, folks. So they come in, they're, they're $7.99 each, mm -hmm. and we always do the buy four. Buy three, buy three get a three, fourth get, for free. Right. Yep. But somewhat, they've been feeding, caring for these things. Right. Right. For three months. Right. And these this are, is not a robot doing this. this nope, is, this is this a is, human. This, this is, is a real, honest being, to goodness, local human being. Someone who loves, right. That, that has done these right here. <coughs> Down here is the same thing with here. This is also, this is our little local section. This is, uh, these are our homemade garamis, homemade garamis, homemade paradise fish down here as well. And the same thing, somebody actually has spent the time raising them. Back when I was young, way back when, when I was skinny, yep. um, we had big thing was fish keeping. This is in the late yeah. 70s, right? fish keeping. Every yeah. kid my age had a fish Listen, tank. Listen, when we first opened up in business, mm -hmm. just it, we, every kid walked in the store, wanted a job. Wanted a job. And every kid knew more than the next kid right. about... Uh, exactly. The case point was yeah. the birthday party kid this weekend yeah. knew everything about fish. Yeah. But 
We loved breeding fish. We love raising them, trading them, swapping them out, bringing yep. them to stores. So what I've always said is if there are kids out there, if you have a, have a son or a daughter, grandson that loves fish, loves science. Granddaughter. Get yep, get them. Granddaughter, yes. Granted, get them trained, get, show, get them set up in an aquarium. Bring them in. We'll put them in. in the tank for a week. Yep. We'll get them used to swimming. Swimming we'll around, fish. and we'll sell yeah. them like a pet. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, if get them if they're interested in learning about this, come in. We'll tell them how to breed. They can do a lot of research. They sell, breed yep. up some fish, and we'll buy the spawning. All right. So, uh, folks, we're done with this segment. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey folks, if your dog has a food allergy and you are looking for a limited ingredient, single protein food, California Natural is the best that you can do. As far as I know, it has the fewest ingredients. So if you're looking for a reasonably priced, limited ingredient diet, try California Natural at Dave. Well, here we are with a really um, sort of interest. Who is this? This is a blizzard lizard or a, a blizzard. Yep, or a leopard gecko, uh, almost like a lemon leopard. Lemon ge leopard gecko. Isn't he cute? Look at that. Yeah, that's one word he for is it. He's very cute, but yeah, he's actually a fascinating creature. These are an easier lizard for people to keep if they've if they are getting into reptiles. They just need a nice amount of heat. They are a cave dweller, so stuff that they can hide in stuff they can hide in. And as you can see, they are very, 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 very handleable. Not one that's gonna jump and run. Yep. They can jump a little, but they're not gonna take off on you. Um, he is curious. Why Why is his tail a completely different color than just the rest the of Just the coloration that he is. That's where and a that's lot of- normal? That's normal. This is just his coloration. Sometimes the tail actually is an escape mechanism. Yeah, because well, if that you look come at, off, that tail it comes will off. come off, yep. So that's the point where it comes off. Right, that's there. the point where it comes off. But if you look at it, his head sort of looks like his tail. So if something usually, he's really on a roll today. If something were to grab him, they think it was his head. They grab him by the tail. The tail would break off. He would escape. And a lot of times when the tail that grows back, that's my phone. Yes, it's Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> They'll call back. Yeah. The cat will call back. Anyway, um, as the tail grows back, it'll actually grow back a totally different color. It'll actually grow back white. Um, so you can it tell. Yep. How many times can they lose their tails? They've actually, they, a lot of times they'll grow back, most of them and indefinitely. They just do it again? Right. The only one that doesn't grow back, and a lot of times you see them stubbed away, are the crested geckos. They actually... They have one time. They have one time, and then that's They're it. not like a cat with nine lives. Right. They don't have nine lives or nine tails. But this so this one, is a cutie guy. This is a cute one. And this is a nice chunky one, because they store a lot of fat reserve in their tail as well. So if you have a nice, nice, solid looking tail... They actually are healthy, very, very, very healthy. <laughs> and what get, kind of environment do they live in? What kind of environment do they live in? Uh, hopefully one, there's a lot of room. Um, they live, this would be fine. Any 20 gallon, 20 gallon tank will be fine. Someplace, a long or, or a, it uh, doesn't matter? It really doesn't matter as long as you have differentiated heat area where you have a hot side and a cool side, um, a basking area. Um, these guys like to hide, so especially if they're at night, have a rock that they can crawl under where they can cool off. What they eat, they love to eat crickets. They are carnivorous, so you don't need any vegetables or anything like that. Crickets, wax worms, um, any small bug would be fine. Uh, like I said, very hard, great How for beginners. How big is he get? How big is he get? Maybe an inch or two longer than really? that. That's it, so they're not a very big one. And how long do they live? They can go up to 12 years. No up kidding. Up to 12 years, yes. Wow, so these are, he is so cool. These are very, very, very cool. This is a nice, friendly one. Um, it's a leopard gecko. This is a leopard gecko. Do, why do they call it leopard? Because it attacks its prey. Well, or when they look, the no, this is a blizzard where it's almost like an, an albino, a, yep. like a light morph. They usually look like a leopard. They have the different leopard spots. He's cuddling. On. Yep, he's going for its warm. Actually, he's curious. He thinks you're a cave. Um, interesting. They actually use their tongue to clean their eyes. A lot of times, you'll see that they can actually use their tongue to clean off their eyes. So it's kind of a interesting watching them do that. Uh, but anyway, you would they, also do need, they also use their tongue like snakes do to find prey and stuff? 
Do you well, know that? Mm, they use it more for tasting and everything. They yeah. not like where they're going to pull up because yeah. they do have really pronounced pronounced um, nostrils, so just pretty much smelling. Um, they it's live so in a cool. desert environment, so you're going to yeah. need a nice, nice sandy area. Um, really like stuff that they can hide under more than anything. Um, heating, you're going to use a UVB light comes in handy, but a nighttime red, something that's going to generate heat. So if you want to look at them during the day, a nice nighttime red, red bulb. That way they can come out a little bit more. Um, but other than that, it's a very, very, very simple. Um, so they're not climbers, obviously. Not really. More, more terrestrial. I see more you have a cacti. Yeah, cacti. Like I said, it's more for look yep. than anything. Cleaning them is really just every so often getting a sifter, going and sifting off any waste off the sand. And um, there's reptile sand. Used. There's reptile sand. You don't want to have any play sand because that'll actually impact. You want something that's going to be digestible for them. Um, so, oh, so right. that's a good point. Right. So reptile sand is digestible, right. but it's regular old play, play sand, sand is, is not. Is, so is that not. will impact them. That actually can yeah, get yeah. them get them, them sick. That'll kill them. Right, right, right. Um, cleaning it every couple of weeks, you just want to take everything down, give it a good cleaning. Just yeah, um, How do you clean it? Um, Listerine works great. Mouthwash, a little bit, three parts. You know, of, I thought he smelled very fresh yeah. and minty. And then just antibacterial. Um, your water <laughs> dishes... Every, you know, you can definitely run your dishes. Matt, the this washer. is a new one. We have never discussed Listerine. Listerine, no. It's, it's, I wonder if Listerine it's, pays us there a, we go. a promotional yep. fee. A little bit of Listerine and water, and if you just spray it down and dry it off, rinse it out with water, you're good yep. to go because it's antibacterial. keeps it very, very, very clean. So you could do any of these guys with Listerine. Right, right, right. Do we use exactly. Listerine? We actually use Dew Dissolve, which is our own, oh, right. and the Dew Be Gone, which we sell here, yeah. of course. But like I said, if you're in a quick pinch and you really want to clean something that really hasn't been cleaned in a while, yeah. unfortunately, a lot of people will let them sit. Um, that'll actually clean them off pretty well. Um, the rocks and stuff, definitely you can soak those. Soak them in a little bit of bleach and water, and then just give them a good rinsing. Really yep. good rinsing, run through the wash, and you're good to go there. Yep. Um, fresh water at all times for these guys. They do, a lot of people forget that they do need a little bit of water to drink, even if they yeah, live in the yeah, desert. Of course. Um, of course. Um, and they do shed as well, too. So don't be alarmed. They do. Yep, they do, just like a snake. As they grow, they shed little bits of their skin and as how well. big, this guy would get what? A couple inches? You get about an inch it? or two more. That's about it. Yep, that's about it. So this one he is. is really cool. Yeah, it's very, very, very interesting little wow. critter. Wow. Interesting critter, but yeah. So I don't know if you can see, if I can get, turn the other way. Turn around, yep, there we go. His eyes waking are up. just yeah. They're fascinating, aren't they? Wow. Oh, and of course, he's, every time I turn, he, he goes the other way. He starts moving the other way. He's camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that's... Uh, and Do a lot of the stores have them? These are, yep, very common. And, All the stores and, have these. And, that, and, 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 this is the most important part. You'll see here CB. Captive bred. None of these are wild caught. These are all have been bred in... We have a couple farms. There's a farm out in California that raises them for us, and we yep. do also take some locally bred yep. reptiles from around here as well too. Yep. So all of these animals are captive bred. They've never been pulled out of the wild. All of them are used to being handled. No environmental impact. But yeah. well, I really like this guy. There you go. His feet are so cool. Yeah. Right. Yep. And he's and just yep. yeah. So like little claws, and yep. he likes your bracelet. <laughs> He's interested he's just in the Yeah, he's sort of nodding out here. Yep, and there he goes. Crawling around. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't go away, folks. We will be back. Hey, folks. If your dog has a food allergy, or you're sick of paying a gazillion dollars a bag for a specialty food, Dave's new grain-free, limited ingredient, single protein source, meat is the first ingredient, lamb or turkey, which I call gobblicious, is the food for you. Here's the best part. Great for dogs with allergy at a really reasonable price. All right, so here we are back with Laurie and Matt. Uh, Laurie is the in front of the scenes, and Matt sort of the behind the scenes care. So like we have counter. hamsters here, right? Yep. Which we don't talk about hamsters very often. Not too much because sometimes they can be nippy. So like sometimes if people with, with like little kids and stuff, sometimes they we don't like selling them to little kids. Uh, not I don't really. We like guinea pigs better. Guinea pigs better. Right. So talk to us about hamsters. So if you don't like your kid, 
This is the perfect thing to get them. Put them or in your bed. neighbor's kid. <laughs> Put them in bed. Actually, if you, when they're little, they nip you the, like anything, if you handle them and you get them socialized and you spend time with them, they become quite tame. Right. And about how many tame. stitches do you need after they... Five or six. Five or six Five stitches. Or six, yeah. So it's not you, as you know, bad you, as the crap. You need to though. teach. You need to roughen up your kids. Tough That's them the up. problem build, with America. Build Tough character. Build right, character. Build character. Hey, it's just like the crabs. You can get that, and you're great. Right. I knew. I survived right. that. We'll survive these. Right. Okay. Actually, yeah. The more you handle them, the tamer they become. Yep. Um, we had when we were little. We had these guys. It's a funny story. Is my brother had a hamster. I had a gerbil, and we always had the debate who had the cooler pet. Yep. Took out the two Hot Wheels tracks. We stuck yeah, them side by side. Right. We put the um, treat at the end, and we raced them back and see the yep. dribbles always won. But the hamsters were always, like I said, became very cuddly, a very cuddly, very really? friendly. Yep. More than a gerbil. Yep. He was once, as they get, like I said, yes, once you agree. train them. Yeah. So we as don't do get, gerbils? Gerbils are, actually, we have, we we do. have some gerbils. We have several gerbils, yep. Yep, yep. we have three. Yep, three gerbils, gerbils have the gerbils look more squirrely and they have the longer tail. Yep. That's right. I knew and one had a tail and one yeah. did. Right, and they're more social hamsters as they get older, they become solitary. You don't want yep. to yeah, these are babies. Yeah. Yep. As they get older they'll actually will start combating each other, fighting each other. Yeah. Are they male and female in there or are they both no, uh, both males? Right? Both male because yeah, we both have males. eighteen of them if they, they were would male be, and female. We'd already by, have another by the time we started, started watching we'd have more of them. <laughs> right? So tell us about who should get a hamster and and Et cetera, et cetera. Hamsters are, are are good are good pets, but I, I always recommend that the adults try to handle them first before you. Little kids, they go. Sometimes they go in there. They make sudden moves and yeah, they, they stress them mm -hmm. out, and yeah. that's when they bite. You know. Yeah. So if the parents, you know, they can try. They can start handling them, get them a little socialized before the kids get so in So the there. kids should be older. I would say, yeah. I would ten say and up. Nothing, ten, ten and, and up. Ten yeah. and up. Ten yeah. 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 And the care of easy to care for Pretty what easy. what do you need um they they love the wheel so you need to get a wheel yep a house they like to go snuggle under it care fresh or some kind of bedding we yep. use care, we use care fresh yep um they tunnel under it make a little bed um we have a, so Matt was saying we have a fair amount of care fresh winter because they do they are nesting yeah, animals yeah. and in the winter when it's a little bit more chilly they're yeah. actually going to pull in. But in the house in. you don't need that. In, no, about, a, about an inch, an inch and a half on the bottom is good. Yep. Is fine. Yeah. Yep. Um, one thing you also need with any rodents is their teeth always grow. You need some sort of a wood block in there to chew to keep their teeth worn down. Yes. Yep. A um, couple things, if you don't have them, and if you have a plastic cage, they'll chew their way out of it. Yeah. And if they don't have anything to chew on, the teeth will just keep growing, which is not good for their... they are amazing escape artists. They yes, can they be, yes, yes. So yes. also have a well, well secure Sealed. cage for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, right, make right. Make sure you have a, whatever size hamster you get, the habitat is appropriate for it. If you, if you get a hamster, it's like a small dwarf hamster, and you get a, a habitat that has wide, wider space bars. Yeah, true. They'll you'll get right, right, right up. Out. You'll get right up. So, right. Just so I noticed that in years ago, I can't even remember when the last time I've seen one in one of our stores. We used to sell a lot of those Siberian dwarf hamsters. We do. <laughs> yeah. And we don't sell them anymore, right? We haven't. We haven't been able to get them. We yeah, get but aren't them. they nippy? Yeah, like the blueberry dwarf. A little quicker. There. Yeah. A little bit more. They, um, a little more, and they're faster too. So yeah. that's more of a, like I said, an older, older. kid pet. Right. Yeah. An older kid pet. A blueberry dwarf hamster? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's like a, a little grayish color. Yep, like these, about half the size, but they look like a little, almost like a little Alvin and the Chipmunk type yeah, exactly. character. Really? Right, right, yeah. right. Little nugget, basically. Yep. Okay, so these are fancy hamsters as opposed to. Teddy bears usually are hamster? a little more. Teddy bears usually are a little bit more rounder, more rotund. Yeah, and they're, and they're, they're a lot fluffier. Yeah, they a lot fluffier. The yeah, the mat hamster. Like, uh, fancies are shorter coat. <laughs> I'm just getting it in all you directions. You know what? I, so I just got to say this. Matt. Yes. What anniversary did you celebrate last week? I have endured this for 18 years. <laughs> 18, 18 years. years. He's been putting up with this. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, 18 years. Thank you all. By the way, to all the guys who posted those notes on Facebook, thank you very much. I do appreciate you guys. So you thank know you. what? All kidding aside, mm -hmm. we've been doing the TV show for... 18 years. Over, well, it's over 18 years. You have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Wow, 18, 18 years. years. You notice who lost the hair and who didn't lose the hair. You lost the hair, I gained the stomach, so there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is great. So, um, so getting back to these, mm -hmm. if your kid is under 10, do not get one. Right. They'll eat as long as they're as supervised, as okay. definitely right. supervised, yeah. 10 and yeah. up really. I say with any of these pets really, it's any of the small pets, supervision under age 10. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Supervision, any pet. You know what, I, what really gets me nervous is if they're, you know, letting them out of the cage and mm -hmm. not, and just... Be kids being kids, forget kids. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. right, yeah. right. And these, how long do they live? Uh, we had all ours went from two to four years when we were little. You know, we had Pudgy who lasted, lasted four years, and it's Pudgy. an important thing. Pudgy, that was my brother's. That was my brother Ham. He left the cage open. This is my. He left the cage door open one day. He disappeared for a week, and my parents were not thrilled when they found him because they drilled a. He ate a hole in their carpet by the yeah. door, oh yeah. door frame. So yeah, oh, yeah they were yeah. not, they were yeah. not too happy. So definitely keep them what secure. What kind of food do they eat? Um, hamster gerbil food. Um, and they need Oxbow stuff. They can. Yep, Oxbow's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. good. And there's some you can always a little. They can, they, guinea pig and rabbit food is completely different. Different and hamster, yep. different, 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 all different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Do they need certain vitamins and minerals or anything? Food is pretty stuff? much going to be giving yeah. it, you giving you everything you need. You can feed, you feed them a healthy diet. Give them clean yep. water every day. You're good. Um, yep. Fresh food every day. You can give veggies. Them a few, you can give them a few fruits. A few, a little bit. Yep. Too, yep. Yep. A little bit. You'll be okay. Veggies or fruit. Um, go easy on the fruit. Do very, they get diarrhea? Very, yeah, because yes. it's yeah. wet tail yeah, diarrhea yeah. can cause okay. issues there. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. But um, but like I said, if you handle them, the more you handle them, the tamer they'll become. Yep. Um, it's a pet you definitely want to spend time with, yep. Um, yep. especially when you want to socialize with them and, and becoming used to yep. um, people handling them. Right. And, and, like said, you and, and do not get a male and a female. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. You'll be... Uh, you'll, yeah, you'll, over here. yeah, you'll be back here with a bit of extra. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Now I know, do, do we buy these locally? Do we have people who come in like we do with the guinea pigs and stuff? We have, do at times yep. when they're available, we have bought them yep. locally. Um, we do have a few of them that are brought in from Fish Mart West Haven. Yep. Um, but most of these, like I said, a lot of them are local. A lot of the guinea pigs we do get locally Great. as well too. Great. All right, well, how, we're, we're good. All right, well, thank you very much for watching this. And everyone can congratulate Matt for, uh, or congratulate me for, for putting, putting up with him for 18, 18 years. Mm -hmm. So thanks everybody, see you next week. Have a good one. Dave Soda, Pet Food City. Hey everybody, it's Dave from Dave's Pet Show. Folks, great news, we're on even better times. If you wanna learn everything about pets, tune in to Dave's Pet Show.